Hey, yes indeed. So, yes indeed. What can you tease in the beginning of the season? Where is his state of mind right now? Where's his state of mind? Yeah, given where he is right now. Um, he's yeah, he's. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, he's 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 in solace right now, man. He really is. He's in a state of solace and and and, and solitude. Um, he's a very introverted person already. You guys look at season one and two. He spends a lot of time alone. He, he does a lot of delegating, um, but he's alone while that stuff is being carried out. And um, I think that's the part of what drives Tobias well is 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 is, is, is his alone time. Um, so un, unbeknownst to the ASA and, 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 and um, Odell, Agent Odell, putting that guy into a pit is only good for his mind. Putting that guy into an isolated, you know, solitary, confined situation is, is good for him, I think. So why is this so casual? Is this extreme violence? Is it racism? <laughs> yeah. Does that ever shock you at times? Oh, yeah, all the time. From the beginning, it did, you know. Um, but it, it, it intrigued me more with the character. It gave me a lot more authority um, to play him. And um, it does. Every script. I, I, when I, I honestly, when I get a script, um, I, I read the entire script several times, you know, and, you know, it's in my memorization process. But I always go directly to my dialogue to see what they have me saying to, to kind of to brace myself for. I always try to brace myself for it. Something that I've done from the beginning of this thing. Indeed, indeed, indeed. What do you think has been the most interesting arc that you've had throughout these two seasons? Like something uh, as far as storyline that has really shocked you personally that you like, how can we top this? Killing my dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, killing my dad. I thought, um, I, you know why? Because I thought that that was, it was soon. Like, I'm like, wow, we're doing this season one? What I like, I just knew that I was dying at the end of that season. You know what I mean? At that point, because I'm like, well, where are we going with this? You know, I didn't, I didn't know. And you know, we've done incredible writers. We have incredible writers. You know, and, and they have um, such a vision for this character. So that was the one that I didn't, I didn't foresee. You know, I was, I was, I was shocked. It was one of my favorites too, um, as well as. Um, the, 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 the power struggle between him and, and, and Lady Eve, that was another one that, again, was, was very unpredictable. You didn't know where it was going to go and, and what was going to happen with it. Yeah. I have so many bags, uh, <laughs> but I, then I also like bags, too. So, so, given, that, so given that Mark Holmes is behind yeah, are we still going to have that teacher role? Or that's one of my favorite yeah, it's it, it, mine too, that, and, and that's a good question. Um, I, I should have asked that. To find out. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I mean, the school has still got to be a, an important part of the show. I think so. I think that um, we have to. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine. I don't know this for sure, but that we'll touch on it a little bit. Um, and I, and I would hope. My hopes are honestly that by the end of the season to be principal again. I mean, that would that would be really cool. Um, but um, it's going to be pretty tough along the way. Yeah, we talked earlier about Supergirl suit. Um, it's going to be a new rendition on the Black Lightning new suit for the new season, anything like that? Um, I don't want to, like, spoil anything, but then by, the, by, by me saying that, it's almost answering the question. Oh. Uh, so uh, there'll be some new things. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. And are we going to see you and your daughter, you know, specifically Jennifer, that's like going through all this yeah. really kind of bond because it seems like you had similar paths with going through becoming who you are. Yeah, yeah. I think I think so. Um, uh, I think eventually, yeah. I mean, we start right. You know, we pick up uh, season three starts about a month and a half after season two, and the the, the beginning of it is really. Um, we're as a family a little disjointed and you know Jefferson's main focus at that point is trying to figure out how to keep his daughters out of the war this this war that's coming um, and uh, but I, I think that in some at some point we have to all come together yeah. yes and you know I love myself from the grace so probably something okay so I think we have to just start with the fact that I've been ghosted Grace, that's classic ghosting, right? So, 
Anissa has a lot of questions. She's confused about a lot. I think she wants nothing more than to figure it out with Grace. I mean, she invited her to her house to meet her family. Like, that speaks to how she feels about her, obviously. Um, maybe she got cold feet. Who knows? I mean, she has a lot of personal things that's going on with her that we have yet to see completely unfold. So hopefully that relationship resurfaces and Grace comes around. <laughs> Alyssa is so comfortable with the vigilante. Like from the beginning, she has been. Why do you think that's the case? I think Anissa just wants to fight for, for justice, and by any means necessary, she's going to do that. Um, I think she's studied a lot of Malcolm X, and, and she believes in his approach, um, even if she has to fight for it, literally. And um, that's been, for me, one of the most rewarding aspects of the show, seeing her activism being played out as a superhero. And what is it about your character as far as the growth and development that you found most interesting, and how are we going to see that develop in the third season? I think the maturity and the growth is what you'll continue to see more of in season three. Season one, it was more so about her understanding and discovering her powers. In season two, she's kind of starting to perfect them and trust herself. Season three, she's a woman, and she trusts that. Um, she's from up under the leadership of her father. She's always, you know, willing to take advice, but sometimes her ideas and her ways of doing things and her mindset is different from her father's. And she doesn't really, um, she's not going to be stopped. <laughs>